reason I got a master's is because I didn't know what I wanted to do after my undergraduate degree. Um, I had studied mathematics and computer science and didn't really want to go out into the real world yet. <laughs> it was really easy for me to stick around for a master's at Miami, so that's kind of why I stayed. It's uh, maybe not the best reason, but but it worked out great. I mean, um, and I, I had an extra two years at Miami after my undergraduate, so um, I kind of just got more comfortable with, with graduate level mathematics and was more prepared for the PhD after those two years. I mean, you'll make more money. I mean, that, that that's kind of the easiest thing to say. I mean, I obviously didn't go in, into my career path for the money of it, but you know, the other benefit, of course, is, is, is you just learn more in mathematics. I mean, mathematics gets really cool after calculus and after all the, you know, the, the intro stuff that, you know, uh, that you are probably required to take as a science major or something like that. So, um, you know, the abstract fields of math that you get introduced to in a master's and a PhD are just a lot of fun. It's a great time in your life, graduate school is. I mean, you're working with other people who love mathematics or, or whatever field you go to graduate school for, of course, and you're just solving problems all day long. And it's it, it's challenging, but it's a lot of fun. So, um, you know, getting a math, master's degree in math, let's say, just for, for the fun of it is good. But of course, you know, um, it should make you a little bit more marketable to, to companies, say that I have a master's degree in math or something like that. That's a different level, you know. I mean, you really have to be dedicated to a subject to to decide to get a PhD in it. And nowadays, I mean, for for a, a PhD in math at, at University of Kansas, for example, it's structured so that um, maybe you're not sure at the beginning whether you want to complete the PhD. Um, you can start it and do a lot of the coursework and exams and so forth that are eventually required for the PhD, and if it's not for you, you can, you know, complete a master's and, and leave, which is great in and of itself. But those first two years of your degree will give you a good idea of whether, you know, math research is right for you and whether you can cut it or not. So, I mean, after the, the first two years at Kansas, I was pretty um, comfortable with, with, with the coursework and I, I, I knew, knew that I would be able to, to complete the degree. But it's, it's a lot. I mean, you have to do independent research, which is something that you don't really get a taste of an undergraduate. Um, and, and sometimes, at least in mathematics, you may not even get a taste of that at the master's level. In sciences, you do research is different. So um, uh, you may get the same kind of research experiences early on. But in mathematics, it's, it's, it's tough, you know? I mean, you have to prove your own theorems, and that, that's kind of a scary thing. But, but it's doable, you know? I mean, if I can do it, then anybody can, of course. Mm -hmm.